Good morning, everyone. This is Haralambos Pissoros, senior analyst at Iron FX, bringing you the morning comment for the 4th of uh, May. The FOMC kept its uh, policy unchanged yesterday, while the statement accompanying the decision was a little changed from uh, previously maintaining a neutral tone. Perhaps the most important point was that poli policymakers viewed the first quarter slowdown in GDP as transitory, implying uh, they expect growth to regain speed in the second quarter. Indeed, uh, the Atlanta Fed GDP now model is currently pointing to a strong rebound in the second quarter. In a sense, the Fed reassured investors that there is no reason to worry about the soft uh, first quarter, while uh, the Atlanta Fed model adds some validity to that uh, view. Therefore, the probability for a June hike uh, rose slightly after uh, the decision, and consequently the dollar gained uh, somewhat. Moving, moving uh, forward, we believe that the market may start paying extra attention to, to U.S. economic uh, releases, as they could prove the main catalyst of whether the Fed will indeed proceed with its next uh, rate increase in uh, summer months. Given uh, the committee's uh, data independence, investors are now likely to turn their gaze to tomorrow's employment data for uh, April. A strong report is uh, needed for the greenback to extend its uh, post-FOMC gains. Dollar yen traded higher on the Fed decision, breaking above the resistance now turned into support of 112.35. Nevertheless, the positive leg was stopped by the 112.90 resistance level and the downside resistance line taken from the peak of the 3rd of January. Absent any shock, we expect the pair to continue oscillating near that resistance zone, waiting for tomorrow's employment data. A solid report could encourage uh, the bulls to overcome uh, that resistance zone and perhaps initially aim for our next uh, resistance barrier of 113.50. Now moving to the UK, the main event will be local elections. Uh, even though these usually pass unnoticed, uh, investors may look uh, to these results as a gouge of whether Theresa May and Conservatives are indeed uh, as far ahead as the general election polls uh, indicate. Currently, polls suggest that the Conservatives are by far the most popular party, with roughly 46% of the total vote. If they gather less support than, um, than that uh, today, this uh, could generate concerns that uh, uh, Prime Minister May could fail to gather the majority she is seeking in order to strengthen her negotiating hand. Something like that may cause Sterling to give back some of, you, some of its uh, latest uh, gains. On the other hand, a strong uh, showing by the Conservatives could suggest uh, that the polls are indeed correct and thereby cause uh, the pound to extend its uh, gains. GBP USD slid uh, yesterday following uh, the Fed uh, signals to hit support slightly above the key support obstacle of 128.50. Uh, we think that uh, today's elections uh, could prove the trigger of uh, whether the rate will rebound from that zone or break uh, back uh, below it. In case the market decides not to respond to today's uh, results, we expect the rate to oscillate around the key 128.50 level awaiting for tomorrow's uh, US uh, jobs data. As uh, for the rest of uh, today's highlights, during the European Day, the Norges Bank uh, rate decision will be in the spotlight and the forecast is uh, for the bank to remain on hold once again. Since uh, the last uh, gathering, data showed that inflation, sh that inflation uh, slowed further. Even though we don't expect an actual rate cut uh, due to the financial stability risks uh, involved, we expect the tone of the accompanying statement to remain very dovish, in which case uh, NOC could stay under selling pressure. As uh, for the economic data, the UK services PMI for April is expected to have declined, but given that uh, the manufacturing and construction indices uh, defied similar expectations and instead surged, we see the risks uh, surrounding that forecast as uh, skewed to the upside. In case of a positive surprise, the pound could come under renewed buying interest. Now, in the U.S., the nation's uh, trade deficit is expected to have uh, widened uh, further in March. We also get the preliminary lab or costs uh, index for the first quarter and initial jobless claims for the week ended on the 28th of uh, April. Factory orders uh, for March are also uh, due out. As for the speakers, we have uh, two on the agenda, ECB President Mario Draghi and Executive uh, Board uh, Member Sabine Launderschlager. We think that the market attention will probably be on uh, Draghi's remarks uh, for any hints as uh, to whether the bank is likely to shift to a more optimistic bias at its uh, upcoming meetings. 
For more information, please read the full comment on ironfx.com or download our app and get all the information you need to trade. Also, you can follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or circle us on Google Plus to get more trading ideas. This is Harlambos Pissuros, Senior Analyst at IronFX, wishing you solid trading.